Please welcome my friend, Colin Farrell. Hey, Colin. Hi, Ellen. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? You look real good. And you look gorgeous. <laughs> you look good. You look, you look great. You look so healthy. I feel healthy. Yeah, you look really great. Yeah. Yes. I, I had to quit caffeine. I'll tell you the whole story. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Do you drink Why? caffeine? Was it keeping you up at night? No, no. I had Do you a little, sleep well? Uh, it, <laughs> <laughs> no. Me neither. Yeah. What are your hours usually? Uh, lately, it's been like uh, 12 hours. <laughs> like you do? Yeah, That's lately I've been narcoleptic. Sleeping. Yeah, it's a condition. No, it, no, narcolepsy yeah, is like falling asleep <laughs> in the middle of. That's narcoleptic. No. Just clarifying. But I'm I'm sleeping a lot lately because I don't oh, have a reason to be awake. Um, <laughs> <laughs> when you give up coffee, there's just you wake up in the morning. You're like, I might as well stay in bed. There's no. Did you get headaches? Oh yeah. Bad. Headaches and leg pains and oh, no. horrible withdrawal. Keep the coffee in your diet, yeah. kids. No. <laughs> Don't start it if you don't have yeah, to. Yeah, don't start it. Yeah, it, it's, they say it's worse than quitting smoking or quit drinking. Oh, to, I don't know about that. Quit. Yeah. <laughs> You're Take not Take coffee off my list as uh, potential things to knock on the head. Are you still smoking? Uh, you know, I gave up for two years, man, and I was doing so well, and then I thought, I'll just have the odd cigarette. Like everyone, and I thought, I'd heard so many people say that and so many people fail, there's yeah. no way I'm gonna be one of them. Oh, you... Cut two. Same thing happened with rehab. I mean, yeah, it's just yeah, all these things. Yeah. I'll never, yeah. you know. Yeah, so, so I got back on bottle. them. I got back on them and I got really good at smoking again. Oh. And, um, and I'm thinking in the next few months, my sister bought me a, a collection of three DVDs, uh -huh. which involves, you watch them at home, of course, or, or you could take your DVD to a friend's house, but, um, <laughs> and you get, you know, you go through this process where you watch someone being interviewed by, by a therapist and, and the person who's being interviewed obviously is a smoker and the therapist is talking to him and then there's hypnosis at the end of it. And I watched the first DVD and I thought, this fella's onto something and I haven't watched the second one. <laughs> I decided, I thought, ooh, he might cure me after all, which was the point initially, but yes. then I thought, ooh, better back away from this idea. That's ridiculous. Yeah, but I still have the DVD, so I think in the next three months, There's I'll a book too, How to Stop Smoking the Easy Way, which is a really great book, and you read the book and you stop. Uh, the and e you can the still easy way doesn't sound that interesting. Though. <laughs> you don't want to do anything a good the easy challenge. way? Anyway, stop. Okay. It's bad for you. John. Oh, done? I'm gonna have a pack here, I'm gonna leave them right there. And by the way, I didn't smell any smoke on your breath. That's because I, I just it. doused myself in Altoids before I came out, because I thought that maybe we'd get to lock lips, if only for a second. <laughs> maybe. Not that I would ever presume, it's never no, a given. It's no, never a given. You never know. No. I, I'm glad I didn't let you down. You really didn't. Yeah, I'm <laughs> so glad. So let's happy talk about- Happy birthday. Uh, happy birthday to you. Why, oh, is, yeah. it's not my birthday. No, but it will be. <laughs> Happy birthday. That's just your go-to when there's silence. Happy birthday. I just remember like, bringing the cake at that time. Yes, you were here for my birthday. I was once you were, the time. But I was not there for your birthday. You no, just, you never are. Well, you didn't invite I've me. I had 40 of them. I uh, know, you just turned 40. I just turned 40. When did you turn 40? I turned 40 on the exact same day, strangely, that I turned 39 last year. <laughs> um, what? May 31st. May 31st. Yeah. And what did you do to celebrate and why wasn't I invited? What did I do to celebrate? What did I do to celebrate? Did I celebrate? It's 40. It must be a Well, big... obviously, my memory's gone. I'm 40. <laughs> so yeah. I, I think, oh, I had dinner with uh, friends, with a group of friends, with like 14 or 15 of us. Here nice. in town? Up in Malibu. It was oh, lovely. Yeah, it was nice. low key and really nice. I'm, I'm nearby. I could have done it. Again, the address, send it to me. All right, give me the, your yeah, number, so I'll give it to you. All Where's right. the pen? How were the... Um... Can I sign one of your books? Uh... <laughs> we'll figure it out later. So you have two sons, Henry and James, and yep. Henry is uh, the younger one, right? Henry, Henry is, is the younger one. He's 10? He's seven. Seven. And James is 13. Seven. And, uh, and so he was very into the, uh, the upcoming election. He was very political. He was a little bit, yes. Is he still? Surprising for a seven-year-old. He's kind of a little bit over it now. He just wants to know why everyone's being so mean to each other. And uh, We all want to know which that. Which is the question on yeah. everyone's lips. Yeah, yeah. he really... It's just in the simplest form. He just completely gets it. He just gets the energy of it. It's like, it's just so mean. And then he's, he, he wasn't a huge fan of Trump initially. I think a little bit because of his hair, maybe. But I think <laughs> more, um, more importantly, because of the potential for mistreatment of Mexicans. Uh -huh. Literally, that's nearly verbatim from Henry. And now he can't stand Trump because I've had to explain to him why Trump keeps on being mean to kittens. <laughs> 
He just keeps, gra he just keeps <laughs> grabbing those kittens. Uh -huh. and, <laughs> and so now he's just like, now he's just. Uh